Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how you make a numeric project. Okay, let me open this up. We've been showing you a lot of uh, EC Profiler projects. But uh, in this particular example, we're going to do the numeric project. Okay, so we're going to start that up. We're going to give it a name. And let's call it Test 10. Okay. All right, so our project saved. So this first part is just like we did previously on the profiler project. I'm going to pick some material that's been calibrated. OK, uh, so this is identical. The biggest difference is that you'll notice up here that there is no button there to take you to the profiler window. OK, that's the biggest difference. <laughs> Everything else is very similar. Um, so if all this criteria is filled in correctly, you're ready to move on. Probably should put a thickness or material length, or the bend length, sorry. We'll say it's five inches. Okay, so we can move on. You would go to step three. Um, in this example, I'm not doing anything special, so we can just assume that the tool goes all the way across. So we don't do anything special on this page, but you'll be purely working off of this screen and uh, it defaults to one step initially and uh, you would essentially come over here and tell it what your first step's angle is going to be because 180 isn't going to do anything so we'll put 90 on there okay that'll take care of all our penetration depth you can see here our decompression tonnage of the, the, the width of the parts already filled in uh, so everything's set here so that that part's real simple the next column is we set the the back gauge okay so this numeric is just it's kind of like a position mode on some of the other machines where not a lot of intelligence it's just you're telling it what you want it to do you know where you're going to position the back gauge As you can see it's positioned way back over here so if i give it a small number like five inch you can see how the back gauge moved up there okay so you just type in the values that you want, okay? Um, if I was going to use a delta X, for instance, I would give it a, maybe a one inch. You watch this, and then you see how my delta X figure moves one inch. I won't normally do that, but I want you to see it, okay? So you answer all the questions until you know what you need. Um, the defaults always with the finger positions on the Z1, Z2 is in the middle, so this is how close they can get to each other. Um, of course, you can change those to whatever you like, um, and up to your desire. So, yeah, input anything you need, and then when you're ready for the next step, I hit here on the plus sign. And okay, it wants to know where do I want to put, are you sure you want to copy the current step? If yes, where do you copy it to be, where do you want it to be placed? Okay, no, if I don't want to copy it at this spot at the end or choose the step. I only have one step, so it doesn't matter. So at this spot. So it copied that last step identically. And uh, you would come over here and change it as you need. You know, maybe it's a 45 degree. Okay, and uh, you can keep adding steps until you're set. So it's a much more manual way of programming. It's not as efficient and quick. You have a little more trial and error. Um, you know the profiler mode is much faster um, and it does a lot more for you okay this is going to be very manual and uh, and uh, a little more a uh, little more detail work you have to do and be aware of okay and that's essentially the numeric version of a, a program okay now one point i want to make out here on numeric here i i was typing in angles like an angle mode on an acupress um I can also do purely positional movements, like uh, like this one, for instance, the penetration depth. Just how deep am I going to get an angle? I can work that way if I want to as well. I could maybe tell it 0.5, okay? And I hit OK. It'll go half inch deep. It's not going to know what an angle it is. It's just got no intelligence whatsoever. You're just telling it an exact value, okay? Uh, I typically don't run this machine like this um, you know we typically use this angle mode or, or profile mode or offline programming with auto pull that's ideal so that's just another way of programming and um, and uh, I don't typically use it but 
that's how that one works. So we'll talk to you later. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.